Hello and welcome back to round eight in the MPL women's competition between Illawarra Stingrays and the Bulls Academy. That's good, perfect.
welcome to everyone watching on the YouTube channel. We are back here for a round eight matchup at Northbridge Oval between the home side Bulls Academy and the traveling Illawarra Stingrays. Should be a very exciting matchup. Both teams mid-table placement at the moment. Bulls Academy in seventh and Illawarra currently sit in fourth place. So a lot on the line, a lot to play for for both teams here today as they line up in the middle of the field with the referees. Should be a very intriguing game. Lots of exciting matchups to look out for. Bulls Academy do have a couple of injuries still persisting in their squad. So a few changes to the starting lineup for them. And Illawarra, they had their midweek round three game played after the washout earlier in the competition. They had a nil all draw with Gladesville Ravens. So we'll see if playing midweek has any effect on them today. But other than that, I, they are quite fit and ready to get things going. Both teams will be very keen to get the win today, get the three points and cement themselves in the top portion of the ladder in this MPL women's competition, which is quite tight through the middle of the field still, only in round eight now. So after seven rounds, it's still quite competitive through the middle of the table and a lot to play for for all teams today. The only other result... So far today, Football New South Wales Institute played at 9am this morning and they beat the Emerging Jets 5-0 up at Valentine Sports Park. So that's the only match played so far. Most of the other games kick off today in 20 minutes at 5 o'clock or the Gladesville Ravens game, I believe, kicks off at 5.10. So Illawarra will start with the ball here. And I'll just... So Illawarra in the pink, running on your screen from left to right, and then the home side, Bulls Academy in black and white, running from right to left here at Northbridge Oval. Kickoff just underway with Siobhan Edwards. And I will just run you through the lineups for the home team in goals. Number one and the captain, Trudy Simmons. Then they've got number three, Elizabeth Gray. Five, Alice Thompson. Eight, Daniela Naimi. Ten, Tamira Souza. 12, Alyssa Rose. Attempt to cross there from Naomi. Goes out for the goal kick. Then we've got 13, Erica Diskiatsky. 18, Aurelia Collins. 19, Annika Corey. 20, Amber Luchtmeyer. And 97, Patria Phillips. And then on the bench for Bulls, number 9, Arjun Surjan. Number 11, Ruby Davies. Number 22, Poppy Davison. 51, Isabella Coelho. 98, Maya Khalil, and 99, Jasmine Melly. As for the Illawarra Stingrays today, they line up with number one, Sophie Emery, 15, Caitlin Cooper, four, Amy Dekimura, 16, Genevieve Nisbet, number two, Tara Cannon, seven, Chloe Middleton, eight, Sakura Najima, 13, Kayla Austin, 14, Siobhan Edwards, 23, Molly Lawless, and 39, Poppy Hooks as the starting 11. And then on the bench, they've got number 6, Alicia Moronan, number 19, Hallie Callow, 37, Layla Etherington, 33, Ella Giles, 17, Adelaide Thompson, and 21, Samantha Ems. Stingrays have, haven't been able to get it out of their own half so far, but we are only 90 seconds into the game, so they've got plenty of time to get down the other end. Handball there from number 18, Aurelia Collins in the midfield. After the flick on head up from Chloe Middleton, caught her arm, so. Caitlin Cooper stepping up to take the free kick from just shy of the halfway line. So 
switch it across to the left-hand side now. But the Bulls have won it back with Corey. Corey with a nice ball out wide here to Thompson. Thompson trying to play it through for Phillips, but Cooper was well positioned to get to that one. Opts not to use goalkeeper Sophie Emery and instead plays it out for a Bulls throw-in here on the left-hand side of the field. Left-hand side for the Bulls, I should say. Throw in from Thompson towards Souza. Now Collins on the ball. She's going to use her back line to switch it out. Ball finds its way to Naomi. Now Thompson cuts inside, has a crack. Misses just left of the upright there. But first shot of the game for the Bulls. Not quite on target on that occasion, though. Some good opening signs from the Bulls, though, getting it into their attacking areas. Emery with a long goal kick. Collins gets to it first, though. Ball's fallen now to Souza and Collins. It'll find its way all the way back with goalkeeper Trudy Simmons. Hooks on the ball now, plays it out wide. Trying to find a way through this <laughs> Bulls Academy press. Hooks now, ball forward to Kayla Austin, sneaks through. Siobhan Edwards on it, gets the cross in. Can't get the shot away though on that occasion, Tara Cannon. Now it's Corey playing it forward to Luchtmeyer, but the Stingrays have it back again. Najima just playing back to Hooks, trying to settle it down. Good cross field switch from Hooks to Dekimura. But now Collins on it for the Bulls. After the Stingrays gave up that possession there. Now it's with Caitlin Cooper. Deki Mura looks forward for Edwards. She can't keep that one. Alyssa Rose has it now. And it'll be an Illawarra throw. Yeah, that's good. Deki Mura now tries to slip the ball through for Austin. One back there by Elizabeth Gray. Though she can't keep it for long. Illawarra have the throw in. Plays back to Cooper. And into Middleton. We've got a lot of experience this Illawarra side. Lots of players with professional experience in the A-Leagues. And Caitlin Cooper's ooh, unlucky there from Tara Cannon. She was able to get the last touch on it but couldn't steer it towards goal. Yeah, Caitlin Cooper, former Matilda for this Illawarra Stingray side. Long time Stingray. South Coast local. So she got the chance to speak to her last year for a feature I was writing. And she um, says so she really enjoys the club, the family vibe of it. And yeah, even despite all her experience and age, she loves coming back to play for Illawarra each season. Naomi on the ball now for the Bulls. 
Able to get around Cannon with a good piece of skill. Trying to find the cross in towards Phillips. Ends up falling to the feet of Chloe Middleton. They've got numbers here, the Stingrays. Out wide towards Siobhan Edwards. Tries to cut inside Alyssa Rose. But a good tackle there made by Rose. Curry on the ball now in the midfield. 1-2 with Tamira Souza. And now it's back in the Bulls' back line as they try and play out from the back. Which they've done well. Playing it quite calmly around the Stingrays defence there. Thompson tries to get the cross in. It's stopped by Hawks. Looks my does get the shot away. Doesn't trouble Emery too much though. Ball goes forward to Edwards now. Cuts inside. Back on her right foot. Oh, tries to slip it in for Cannon. Almost. Almost got to her feet, but she just kind of ran over the ball. Siobhan Edwards back in the side after serving her suspension for the red card against the Emerging Jets last weekend. The Stingrays had their mid-season game against Gladesville Ravens, which she was able to use to serve that suspension for the red card against the Jets. Thompson now tries to sneak it around Austin. Not able to do so. so yeah, Siobhan Edwards will want to be on her best behaviour today. It was a double yellow that got her sent off against the Jets. And um, the second yellow came just for a bit of back chat, mouthing off to the ref. She'd won the free kick and was, I think, telling the referee to award the, the offending player a yellow card, but instead she got herself a second yellow. Now look to Maya, charging forward, trying to slip it in behind for Phillips. She's still got it. Now Phillips on the ball. Shot was blocked by the Allure defence, though. Good turn there by Austin. Can't get around Collins. Good strength there by Collins. Finds Gray. Gray's pass went straight to an Illawarra player in the midfield. Dekimura now with room to drive forward. Alyssa Rose gets to that ball though. Good strength there with Edwards challenging her. Now it's gone out to Naomi. And Collins on the ball. She loses it to Najima though. Good ball played in behind towards Edwards. Cross. Went straight to the hands of Trudy Simmons, so couldn't find Austin, who'd made a nice run to the back post. They were outnumbered there on that occasion, though, Illawarra. Probably wanted a bit more support in the box for the cross coming in. That ball just a bit too far in front of Thompson, who is known for getting forward and participating in the attack, but not to be there. Is bit on the ball now. Back to Hooks. Poppy Hooks driving well into the midfield. Stop there in a strong tackle by Elizabeth Gray. Now Elizabeth Gray's taking the chance to go forward both centre backs trying to start an attacking charge for their team. Cannon now with the cross. Alyssa Rose is there. Alyssa Rose, bit heavy in the back of Najima though. And she gives up the free kick. Probably a bit far out for a shot there for the Allura Stingrays, but they'll be looking to put it 
in the box, I imagine. Create a chance here for their forwards. Let's try and poke one in. Kayla Austin stepped out to take it. Comes in around the edge of the box. Diskiatskio is on it though. Right in the drop zone where not many Illawarra players were situated. but try to sneak her, out, her way around Naomi. Instead, she'll win herself the throw in. Illawarra Stingrays, they haven't lost a game since round one to the current top of the table, MacArthur Rams. They've had a couple of draws, but other than that, they are undefeated in their past six matches. So they'll be looking to continue that streak today. Cross comes in for Dekimura. Edwards is challenging here on Corey. Good strength there by Edwards. And she's helped win the Stingrays a throw in. Meanwhile, the Bulls, they've had a bit of a mixed bag with results, some wins, some losses and a couple of draws in at round three and round four. But last week they had a 2-1 loss to the NWS Spirit. The week before, a 3-0 win over the Gladesville Ravens. And then before that, a 7-4 loss. So really is a bit of a mixed bag in terms of the form of the Bulls at the moment. As I mentioned earlier, they've got a few injuries in the squad at the minute. We've seen Jessica Seaman walking around, who's a notable absence for them, as well as Isabella Coco de Scipio, who's scored several goals for them this season. Her goal count at four, so they're missing a key attacking threat today and instead they've called up regular reserve grader Patria Phillips to come on to the starting side in what I believe is a starting debut for Phillips she can't track that ball down good work by Deki Mura to shelter it out and get the goal kick Goes long towards Najima. I think it hits her in the face there, but play continues. Naomi with the cross. Nobody was there though. Went over the head of Luktmeyer. Illawarra will have another throw here for the Japanese international Deki Mura to take. They have two Japanese internationals in the side, as Deki Mura as well as Sakura Najima, who plays in the midfield. Deki Mura is new to the side this season, but Najima joined mid-season last year, and it really helped the Stingrays get out of a bit of a slump because heading into the second half of the season, they were quite low on the table, and they had a Great finish to the year. Strong climbers in the back half of last season with the Illawong Stingrays, and they've started this season in a similar fashion, doing quite well. Long shot attempt from Najima. Doesn't trouble Trudy Simmons too much. But yeah, Najima helped kickstart, tried to turn their season around now. The Stingrays are currently placed in the finals. You know, the battle for the finals positions, obviously still early into the competition, but it's been a while for the Stingrays between finals appearances, and they'll be keen to turn that around in 2024 and get back to the postseason. A 
Rose does well. Najima comes in though and wins it. Good ball into Cannon. Naomi does well. Oh, Cannon with the first goal of the game. But she's offside. It will be ruled out. I believe Tara Cannon was offside on that occasion. Good ball across the field to her. Naomi had to try and get back into position. Originally did that and then Cannon finished anyway. But it won't show up on the scoreboard. So, early scare for the Bulls. Avoided thanks to the assistant referee. But the Stingrays will be disappointed. They'll be wanting to get one for real. A real goal to add to the score of the match. Decking right to Edwards. Look, looking for Middleton, but Middleton overran the pass. Flick pass from Phillips there, aiming for Luxmeyer. Bulls this time with the ball. Good strength there by Caitlin Cooper. So yeah, for the Stingrays, they've got a lot of local players. It's part of their you know, club philosophy to bring players up through the SAP and youth systems into the senior squads. But the recruitments they've made have been quite strong as well. Ooh. Hooks puts Amory under a bit of pressure there. It looks mine closing in on her. Yeah, they've brought in some internationals in the two Japanese signings as well as some players from interstate. Poppy Hooks originally from Western Australia. And Siobhan Edwards, who's a... Oh, just across the face of goal for Sousa there. As I was saying, Siobhan Edwards has signed this year with the Illawarra Stingrays. Sydney-based player. Other than that, though, several of their key players are local juniors. Notably, Caitlin Cooper, goalkeeper Sophie Emery, Kayla Austin, Chloe Middleton, all played for the club for several years. Cooper's on the ball now. Middleton's almost able to tackle Collins, but the Bulls do have it now with Corey. Pressure from the Stingrays forces her to play back. Liz Gray to Souza. And now Rose trying to find Naomi. Good ball in behind the Stingrays back line. Naomi's cross not in the field of play went out over the back line quite early in its trajectory there. Naomi playing a slightly unfamiliar position, a bit deeper. Normally she plays higher up the field as a out and out winger, but today having to drop back and do a lot more defensive work. Collins gets there. Thompson keeps it in. But it's gone out off Decky Murrah. And that throw will go out for a goal kick after Souza could keep it. Edwards with it. 
Tries to play the ball forward for Cannon, but Rose is on it. Good ball forwards to Phillips. Now Phillips on the ball, back to Souza. Tries to flick it through again for Phillips. Souza wins it. Cleared out of there by the Stingrays. Good little passage of play there for the Bulls Academy. We'll be wanting to recreate a bit of that here. Perhaps getting a better result. Instead, they've lost it. Cannon's on the ball now. And Chloe Middleton makes the tackle. So Stingrays retain possession. Good ball in behind there by Siobhan Edwards. Sakura Najima's got it out wide. Her cross goes straight to Erika Diskiatsky, though. Naomi with a good tackle there on hooks. Back at Tara Cannon's head. Finds his way to name his feet. Now Sousa's on the ball for the Bulls. To Luchtmeyer. Back to Collins. And now Thompson tries to turn her way through Dekimura, but the Japanese international stops her. Good ball forward here to Kayla Austin. Tries to hit that first time. Didn't connect well with the ball there. She had that chance again. She may well have taken a touch to try and bring that ball under control rather than the very wayward half volley attempt she did end up taking. Middleton with her signature headband and high bun with the bow combination. Quite a noticeable player in the MPL competition and even when she's had stints in the A-League, always wearing that high bun, ribbon in a bow, representing the colour of her side. Playing for Illawarra today, obviously a pink ribbon in her hair. Good ball forward to Cannon. Oh, Cannon's shot over the goal there. But Stingrays are getting some chances out wide. The Bulls will be wanting to shut down any more similar plays. Lots of stingrays here trying to trap the Bulls in. Pressure relieved momentarily with the Bulls winning a throw in. Jim is running hard at Alyssa Rose. Now Trudy Simmons sends it forward. But Caitlin Cooper gets her head to it first. Sends it out for a throw in, which the Bulls will take. Alice Thompson running up to take this one. Patria Phillips tries the flick on pass to look to Maya, but a bit too heavy. Meyer doesn't keep it in. Just rushing hard to get there, but just slipped out. It's quite a quick surface here at Northbridge Oval with the synthetic turf, so the ball will run out quickly. Austin with the header. 
Ischiatsko steps up to send it forward for the Bulls. Now Naomi on the ball. Tries a bit of skill to get around Najima, but Najima doesn't fall for it. Rose now with a strong run. Just tried to beat one player too many, it seemed. Just as Nisbet tackled her. Lisa Rose forces the throw in now, so Bulls keep the ball. Good turn there by Edwards, able to face forward. Looking for support now. Tries to get the cross in, but it's deflected by Naomi. Now Middleton plays it out to Austin. Finds Najima. Aims to link it up with fellow Japanese player Dekimura. Caitlin Cooper and looks my strong challenge there. Free kicks awarded the way of the Bulls. Seem to be pretty slight challenge there. I'm not sure what the foul was. It seemed quite clean. If anything, Caitlin Cooper had hold of Luchtmeyer's shirt there, so. Anyway, play moves on. And Stingrays have themselves a throw in with Genevieve Nisbet. We'll have another one. There would have, despite the quite large area out on the other side of the field. They're not being asked to chase balls. The Bulls Academy have supplied some of their youth and sap players to be ball kids for the game today. It's good to see the young players getting involved and getting to see the seniors at the club, see the first graders play this sort of quality, a lot to learn from for young players coming through. Balls the back of Rose. Holds off the challenge of Middleton. Back to Simmons. Now with Thompson. Thompson disappointed by her own effort there. Poor first touch and the ball goes out. Stingrays have it now. to send it back to Nisbet, who does well, despite two players charging at her and Phillips and Naomi. Now it's with Edwards. Edwards spinning around to get on her preferred right foot. Fall into Austin. And once again, Austin gets well and truly under the ball and sends it very high over the goals. Simmons with the one-two with Diskietsko. Now Naomi can't play it through Tara Cannon. Settles for the throw-in instead. <laughs> Board Naomi again, gets to Collins. Now Phillips. Phillips trying to find Luchtmeyer. Caitlin Cooper there once again. She's now Emery sending it forward to Middleton. Caitlin Cooper's been there nearly every time the Bulls have tried to play the ball in behind. Oh, Liz Gray doesn't get enough of the ball there. But she makes up for it with a tackle there on Austin. Ball make, comes back to Dickie Mura. Now Lawless. Najima. Tries to put a little chip ball over the top, but there's not quite enough room for that one to work. Simmons steps out off her line and 
recovers it for the Bulls. Now Simmons going long towards Phillips. Hook steps up. Strong header there. Now the ball goes forward for Naomi. Shows good speed against Nisbet. And wins herself a corner. First corner of the game, 33 minutes in. It's taken some time to get to a corner. Daniel and Naomi takes it for the balls. Towards back post, Liz Gray running in. Gray. Out over the goal and even over the fence. So into the golf course for that soccer ball. Not sure one of the ball kids will be sent around to retrieve that one. Now Zeki Moore on the ball for the Stingrays. They went short with that goal kick, which they haven't done with many. Liz Gray steps up to win that. Good bit of play there by the Bulls. Quick passing there in some tight spaces between Thompson, Souza, and Luchtmeyer. Now it's made its way all the way back to Rose. A little bit of some scrappy play in the middle of the field. Ball forward towards Amber Luchtmeyer. Can't get there. Ball just runs out with the speed of the surface here at Northbridge Oval. Which is quite a picturesque ground to watch football. You've got views of the golf course and then behind that North Sydney and the CBD. You can make out Barangaroo and Centre point tower, which are quite good. It's quite a good backdrop to watch some football on a Sunday afternoon. Now Simmons forward to Phillips. Lawless on it now for the Bulls. She tries to poke it towards Najima, but instead. Bulls have a throw in. And Amy showing her speed. Trying to use footwork to get around Tara Cannon. Quite a skillful player, Danielle and Amy. Coming out of the Football New South Institute system. Football New South Wales Institute system this year. Having played most of her youth football there. Cannon holds up well in the challenge, though. Tries to clear it, but Collins is there to win it back for the Bulls. Phillips sends it to Naomi. Naomi tries to cut it back in, but Lawless is there. Now Alyssa Rose. Good turnaround. Sakura Najima. Collins finds Corey. Corey's bounce back towards Rose. Wasn't the quality she wanted there. And the Stingray stepped in to win it back. We find Kayla Austin here on the right-hand side. Good ball in behind for Siobhan Edwards. She'll get to that before it goes out. But good bit of defending there by Gray. Forces... Siobhan Edwards to play the cross out for a goal kick. And now Rose on the ball. Bulls don't mind playing with it at the back. They're quite patient in their build-up. Looking to work it up the field quite methodically until the pressure comes and then they don't mind sending it forward to get it out of trouble. Forward to Cannon. Cannon's got room to work here. 
Cannon with the shot. Good save there by Trudy Simmons. And the Stingrays will have their first corner of the game. Kayla Austin stepping out to take this one. Long-time Illawarra player. Been at the club since she was 13, so... It's been a long time in pink jerseys. Corner comes in. Bulls jump up to get their heads on at first. I believe it was Souza, but it could have been Gray. Yeah, it's found its way all the way back to Poppy Hooks. So they're going to try again the Stingrays. Oh, look to Myers, won it back here. To Phillips. And now the Stingrays are back with it. Find the good crossfield ball to Austin. Now it's with Najima and Edwards. Now it's Deki Mura. Amber looked to me, I was trying to sneak up on her there on her blind side to make the tackle, but it was well communicated to Deki Mura by her Stingrays teammates. Now Tara Cannon with the ball, back to Nisbet. Najima, Nisbet again. They're taking their time here, the Stingrays, but they've given the ball away. Bulls win the throw in. Just over five minutes to go here in the first half at Northbridge Oval. There's been no injuries, so I can't imagine that we will have too much injury time. Don't want to jinx anyone, though. Hope I haven't said that now and we see an injury at the end of the first half, so fingers crossed everyone holds up well heading into half time. Thompson being sent back to take the throw. Phillips, back to Erika Diskiatsko, tries to cross, well, not really cross, but the ball forward to the box. Stingrays here with the counter attack, they've got some space, lots of Bulls Academy players dropping, cross comes in, Gray gets to it first though, Souza can't keep it, but Rose steps up to win it back, and now Patria Phillips on the ball for the Bulls. She finds Collins. And now Gray to Luchtmeyer. Luchtmeyer finding it tricky to turn around Caitlin Cooper. Both teams trading headers here. Which team will be able to bring it down and settle the ball? Samira Souza upset by the call there. She thinks that one was high enough up to be considered a shoulder. But ref sees it a bit lower on the arm. Gives the handball. Good turn there by Collins. Great crossfield switch now to Naomi. She's driving at Nisbet. Nisbet recovers well to make the tackle. But they can't clear it, the Stingrays, only finding Gray. Gray's dispossessed though. Chloe Middleton driving forward. She doesn't have much support, just Edwards. It's the one target she's looking for. Alyssa Rose. Stops the pass getting through, though, to Edwards. Good 
Good strength there by Tara Cannon. Back to hooks. She finds Najima. Now Lawless is on it. Zekimura. Now Austin with a little bit of room to put a good cross in towards Cannon. Just in front of her. But it's a good ball in from Austin. Tara Cannon just short of being able to get there slightly. Needed to stretch just that little bit further. Collins. Thompson connecting well to find Luchtmeyer. Middleton makes the tackle. Looking to switch the ball, find the space for the Stingrays. Good ball in behind to Genevieve Nisbet. Nisbet finds Najima. Cross comes in. Oh, everyone seemed to miss that ball there. Austin hanging around at the back post waiting for it. Trudy Simmons also couldn't get the ball for the Bulls. But the Stingrays have themselves another corner. Susan's in the right position to get there first. Kale Austin tries another cross, but it's a bit deep, and Simmons can get that one unchallenged. Ball goes towards Luchtmeyer. Luch gets her head on it, though. Luchtmeyer just a bit short on the jump. Cross comes in towards Middleton. It's back with Molly Lawless, though. Bit scrappy for both teams, neither able to really control the ball and get any meaningful play with it. Now Najima has it. Once again, the cross too close to Simmons. And that's the 45 on the clock for the first half. So we are in injury time now. Can't imagine we'll have much of it considering there were no injuries this half of football. Cooper driving forward. Good ball forward to Tara Cannon. Now to Siobhan Edwards. Tries to cut it around Alyssa Rose. Alyssa Rose has been holding up very strong in all the challenges today. And that is the end of the first half here at Northbridge Oval. No goals to... Either team, the score remains nil all, although the Illawarra Stingrays did put one in the back of the net. It was called back for offside. So make sure you tune in for the second half here at Northbridge Oval between the Bulls Academy and the Illawarra Stingrays. A lot left to play for.
and welcome back to the second half here at Northbridge Oval. Still nil all in this round eight matchup between the Bulls Academy and the Illawarra Stingrays, but a lot left to play for. And there were a lot of exciting chances for both teams in the first half, so it'll be interesting to see how the rest of this game pans out. The Bulls made a half-time substitution. Elizabeth Gray coming off, and instead number 99, Jasmine Melly will be on for the second half. As for the Stingrays, looks to be an unchanged lineup heading out of the sheds. We're underway. Bulls take the kickoff, but the Stingrays have it back quickly. Not for long. Trudy Simmons on the ball now for the Bulls. There's Thompson. Gives Jasmine Melly her first touch of the game. Now Deki Mura sending it long towards Edwards. Holds up in the air though and doesn't travel particularly far. Stingrays did actually put one in the back of the net in the first half, but it was called back for offside, so they'll be hoping to get a, a real goal that they can put on the score sheet. Ball goes forward to Edwards. Edwards upset about the hands in the back from Alyssa Rose, but the referee doesn't agree. The referee also doesn't agree that it should be an Illawarra throw-in and instead gives it the way of the Bulls. The Bulls will have another throw in this time. Going over the halfway line. Lawless does well to get it out of the traffic there. And Middleton with a good turn. Great ball in behind to Siobhan Edwards. Siobhan Edwards on with a left foot. Cross goes through everyone. Right along the six-yard line there. Just needed a little tap on it from a Stingrays player. And likely would have hit the inside of the net for a goal. Good bit of play there by Chloe Middleton to set up Siobhan Edwards. Oh, now look to Maya. She's got some space to run. This is where she does her best work, running like this. Cuts inside. Good tackle from Poppy Hooks. But they're coming again, the Bulls, this time with Jasmine Melly out on the left-hand side. Cross is deflected off Ami Zekimura and out for a corner. So first corner of the second half. Goes the way the Bulls, and it's a lot quicker into the game than the first half. We had to wait about... 30 minutes for a corner. Instead here, less than three. It might be Thompson who's gone out to take it. Ball comes in off Caitlin Cooper's head and it's back out wide. Now Corey on the ball. Alyssa Rose calling for the switch, and she does receive that pass. Now the ball's with Naomi. Good ball forward to Patria Phillips. She stretched for it, but couldn't quite keep it under her control. Ball goes forward towards Siobhan Edwards now for the Stingrays. But the Bulls have won it back. Souza plays it out to Corey. Good, good strength there by Edwards, able to win it back for the Stingrays. And she's won a free kick too. For Sir. Bit of foul play in the challenge there between Corey and Edwards. And it's from good spot for the Laura Stingrays. Well and truly shooting range. Right. 
on the edge of the D. Or maybe a meter back from it. Sakura Najima is going to take this one. And the shot comes in. Oh, just wide of the left upright. Forced the dive out of Trudy Simmons, though. Good attempt there from Najima, but just a slightly wide of the goal. Had a good amount of curl on it there from the right footer. Trudy Simmons looking long. Comes off the back of Tamira Souza's head. Now look to Maya with a flick pass through for Phillips. Zeki Mura has enough speed to get there first. Forward pass, which came off the back of Sean Edwards' head. And now the Bulls have the ball again. Singrays have it back now with Molly Lawless. But she sends it out, and it'll be the Bulls with it. The throw in. Alice Thompson's being sent back. That's, that's not where the ball went out. Chloe Middleton tries to play the ball in behind for Tara Cannon. Diski Atsukura steps up. Does well to win it for the Bulls. And the interception. Singrays have it back. All the way back with Sophie Emery. Keeper. And she finds Dekimura. Now Cooper. Clips the head of Alice Thompson and Stingrays have themselves to throw in. No other teams really settled when they win the ball back. Lots of Quick turnovers for both sides. Quite scrappy in the middle of the field, so they'll be hoping they can settle it down and find some meaningful chances for their side. Looks Myers made the tackle here. Good pass across to Daniela Naimi. Tries to cut inside, but Tara Cannon did enough. Bulls have it back now. Diskiatskio. Cross comes in towards Looks Meyer. But Zeki Mura. Has it coming out of the box. Tackle there by Collins. Lots of changes of possession here. Good ball forward for Siobhan Edwards. Trying to cut inside Alyssa Rose. Sends it back to Cannon. Cannon with the cross in to Najima. She was onside and it is a goal. First goal of the match. Great ball in from Tara Cannon to secure, secure Najima. And nobody tracked that run. She had lots of time to bring the ball down and just quite calmly slot it past Trudy Simmons. So we have a goal here at Northbridge Oval. 1-0 for the Illawarra Stingrays over the Bulls Academy. And they had been holding up quite well defensively. Both sides had. I mean, it was nil all, but that one, nobody tracked the run of Sakura Najima, and she had all the time in the world to bring that ball down and very calmly put it in the back of the net. Ball's gone back to Simmons off the... Kick off for the Bulls. Oh, 
Now Molly Lawless on the ball for the Stingrays. Good strength there by Chloe Middleton. The right, Tamira Souza was challenging her strongly. Now Naomi's got it. Right down in the corner for the Bulls. And she does really well to win the throw for the Bulls. Sending it out with a deflection from Chloe Middleton. towards Phillips. Phillips had three different pink jerseys surrounding her, so it's tough for her to hold on to the ball. Dekimura with a long effort, which wasn't on target. Dekimura and Sakurina Jim, not only are they both Japanese, but they also both run private coaching sessions, which I saw the Illawarra Stingrays were advertising for their younger players to get in on, one-on-one -on -one hour long coaching sessions in the Wollongong area. So if you're interested, re I'm sure you can reach out to the Illawarra Stingrays to get more info on that. If you're impressed by what Najima and Dekimura have been doing today and want to get some of their wisdom. Nisbet steps up to stop the ball getting to Naomi there. Jasmine Melly with the ball now on the left-hand side for the Bulls. Back to Thompson. Thompson with the ball forward to Phillips. Well controlled and back to Souza. Good tackle there by Molly Lawless, but Bulls have it again. Now it's Middleton and they've got a bit of space, bit of room on the counter attack. Bulls dropping back quickly. And Tamira Souza makes the tackle but she can't keep it in. Stingrays will have themselves another throw here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Move right back, please. Left back. There we go. Well done there by Lisa Rose. Bulls have themselves a free kick, which is just Played a simple pass back to Trudy Simmons. Now Alice Thompson tries to play the ball to Phillips, but Lawless gets in her way and the Stingrays are coming again. They have it back once more, Deki Mura, the Stingrays. Good ball forward towards Kayla Austin. Trying to use a bit of Crafty footwork to get around Jasmine Melly, but Melly holds up well in the challenge and wins the throw in. Uh oh, Susan with a heavy touch. Siobhan Edwards is able to get there. But she sends it into the side netting. On the outside, that is. Bulls will want to be a bit more careful when they're playing out from the back. Maybe a bit too relaxed in that sequence. And Trudy Simmons taking no chances here, telling everyone to push up, because this one is going long. Still bouncing around. Stingray send it forward towards Najima. 
her header. Makes its way into Trudy Simmons' arms. And now the Bulls have the ball. Uh-oh, Simmons plays it straight to Najuma. And she makes no mistakes there. Not sure what was going through Trudy Simmons' head there. She had the ball passed back to her. Instead of playing to a ball, she played it straight into the feet of Sakura Najuma, who makes no mistakes unchallenged from that sort of distance. As we saw for the first goal, very similar spot. Sakura Najima now with two goals and the Stingrays are up 2-0 here over the Bulls Academy. Still half an hour left in this game. Plenty of time for the Bulls to get back in it. But they need to show a lot of grit, a lot of determination to get themselves back into this game. Ball here with Souza now to Phillips. Phillips with the shot. Not on target there. Hooks did enough with her defending to close down the angle and force Phillips to shoot wide. So the Bulls clearly a bit fired up. Not happy about being 2-0 down, especially at home. And they're wanting to get themselves back in this. Especially before the Bulls have to start looking to their bench, the players on the field want to stay on and want to get a goal back. Get themselves back in the game. Good turn there by Phillips. Phillips cuts back, finds Naomi. Naomi with the cross. Just in front of Luke Meyer. Good bit of play there by Patria Phillips. Just 18 years old, Patria Phillips, regularly a reserve grader, but got the chance to start today with the first grade side, and she definitely hasn't looked out of place. She's done quite well at, in the front line for the Bulls. Would be what she really needs to do now for her side is find a way for them to get a goal. And that's a big task for her now. She's also a player who has some of the smallest socks I've seen in a while. And probably the smallest shin pads inside those socks. Everyone else has got standard length, but hers just above the ankle, it seems. So not sure what size shin pads she's got on inside there. Hook's driving forward now for the Stingrays. Finds the Najima. Good ball in behind for Austin. Melly does just enough. Stretching out a leg. And now Middleton, her deflected shot, which Simmons can pick up. Najima already has a brace this game, so I'm sure she'll be keen to try and go one more, get herself a hat trick. Simmons with it once more. They're certainly testing out the Bulls' back line. This half, the Stingrays, and reaping the rewards of it now, up 2-0. Dekimura inside to Austin. Good 1-2 there. Back to Dekimura. Millie does enough to nudge Dekimura as she's trying to hit the cross and force it a bit further back where Simmons can Scoop it up. Now looks Meyer on the ball for the Bulls. Flicking it forward. But Phillips wasn't quite on the same page and wasn't there for the, for the ball. Bulls are pressing hard now, trying to win it back in this half. Stingrays do well to get out of it. Chloe Middleton with the ball now in the midfield. Bit of time and space. Finds Edwards, who's able to face forward. Good ball forward to Deki Murray here. Will it stay in for her? Not quite. She was certainly putting in a lot of effort to try and get there. And the Stingrays are making their first changes of the game. And 
Number 37, Layla Etherington coming onto the field. For number 13, Kayla Austin, whose night is now finished. Seems to be a straight swap. Etherington heading out to that right wing position. Nisbet and Lawless both getting involved in the Naomi tackle there. But Naomi has got a throw in despite being tackled. Ball goes to Souza, now to Thompson. Tries to flick it over the head of Nisbet, but Genevieve Nisbet jumps up just high enough to make the header. Sakuna Jima now driving forward. She's able to get past Aurelia Collins. Ball goes to Siobhan Edwards. She's lost track of the ball there, though, and Alyssa Rose comes up with it. Now Middleton switches it out towards Etherington. Bit out of her reach. And Melly's backtracked to retrieve the ball. Tries to pass forward to Look to Meyer, but Look to Meyer's touch wasn't quite there. Goes out. Samira Souza comes out with the ball from the corner there, but. Chloe Middleton wins it back to the Stingrays. Now Siobhan Edwards. Lots of pressure coming at her through Souza and Collins, and she can't hold up. The Bulls have the ball back after a good tackle by Collins. Good, good bit of play between Collins and Naomi there. Genevieve Nisbet does well to make the tackle. Collins caught napping. Sakura Najima steps up to win the ball. Now Trudy Simmons plays it out to Melly. Now it's Corey on the ball. Najima once again sneaking up and getting those interceptions, working hard in the middle of the field for the Stingrays. Collins tries to play it in behind. I'm not sure who for, but can't get through Poppy Hooks. Who's done well this game. Now Lawless. Neither team. Us. Minute or so has been able to break down the other's defence. Now Chloe Middleton's driving forward. She seems to have the chance to do so. Out to Etherington. Etherington with the shot. Good save there by Trudy Simmons. And it will be a Stingrays corner. I believe the first of their second half from the corner post. Etherington will take the corner. Comes in towards the penalty spot. Hooks gets up there. Can't see it towards the goal. And Cooper with the volley, which was just off the mark a bit over the goals. Bulls making another substitution. Aurelia Collins making her way from the field. Um, Maya Khalil, number 98, will come in on in her place. Heading into the midfield, so it looks to be a like-for-like -like substitution. Yeah. 
Brooks does well there. Reaching out ahead of Phillips to get to the ball first. Sends it out and Alice Thompson will have a throw in for the Bulls. Finds Khalil for her first touch. The game. But now Middleton driving forward. Finds Siobhan Edwards. Cross into the side and ending of the goal. Needed to angle that one a little bit further back to find her support. Bulls will want to be pushing hard. There's just under 20 minutes left of regulation now. And they're still 2-0 down here. North Oval. Good touch there by Danielle Naimi. Dribbling inside. Good overlapping run there by Alice Thompson. Cuts inside Tara Cannon. Cross comes in off the left foot. Gets to the head of Tamira Souza. But not quite enough to steer it onto goal. Good bit of play there by Alice Thompson especially. Edwards on the ball now for the Stingrays. Good ball forward towards Tara Cannon. Another Bulls Academy throw in here. It was a good win last night by their parent club, the MacArthur Bulls in the A-League men's competition. Reduced to 10 men in, in the first half. And then I believe they were down to nine late in the game and they got away with the 1-0 win over Sydney FC, which was quite an exciting win for the MacArthur Bulls. Game not going as well here for their women's academy side. So they'll be hoping they can turn that around. Rose under a lot of pressure there by Najima. Trudy Simmons gets the ball on the back pass and sends it forward. This bit on the ball now. Back to Emery. She tries to send it back to Nisbet, but it's a bit in front of her. And on this quick surface, it doesn't allow much room for error. She plays to step forward balls that aren't quite directed well. Naomi on the ball now in the corner, trying her best to get around Nisbet. Well defended though by Genevieve Nisbet and she has a throw in here from down in the corner. She stood up quite well to Naomi's challenges today, especially when we saw in the first half on one instance, Naomi has a bit of a speed advantage, but but hasn't fallen for the tricks on most occasions today. Corey tries to feed the ball through to Naomi. It's broken up though. So it's fallen to Thompson. She pokes a little ball in behind, but there's no runners for it. And Sophie Emery, she's got the ball at her feet. She's waiting for a Bulls player to step out and force her to pick it up. With 2-0 up. In the 74th minute here at Northbridge Oval, they're happy to take their time, the Illawarra Stingrays. Ball goes forward for the Bulls, looks Meyer on it. Long shot. Emery does well to make that save. Didn't have to move particularly far, but it's quite a Bullet off the boot from Amber Luchtmeyer, who's been quite strong in front of goal this season, has several goals to her name. I believe her tally's at six or seven. So she's the clear Bulls goal scoring threat. Now out wide here, but Cannon was offside. Oh. 
Stingrays look close to making another substitution. Hallie Callow's up off the bench and got her bib in hand ready to go. Now look to Maya. Is it to Naomi? Naomi dribbles it out though, can't quite play it on the edge of the tightrope of the sideline there. And here comes number 19, Hallie Callow. Making her way into the field, and it is the end of number two, Tara Cannon's night, who did put a ball into the back of the net, but it was the offside goal from the first half. There's Hallie Callow's first touch, but she puts it out on the throw in. And now Thompson has herself a throw in, so. Mike Khalil. Ball's adamant that they should get the throw in there and they were listened to by the referees. Perhaps not. I imagine the referees made their decision independent of the Bulls' cries, but nonetheless, Bulls have the ball. Poppy hooks with the height advantage over Katria Phillips there. Now Nisbet has kicked that one out after some good pressure from Danielle and Amy. She's scored in the last two games for the Bulls, so maybe she can be the one to get them back into things. Ball goes back to Khalil. Forward towards Luchtmeyer, but Dekamura reads it well. And it's hit the referee there, so it will be a drop ball. Bulls had it last. She's awarded a Bulls drop ball since contested drop balls are now outlawed from the game. Anna Kokori is going to receive this one. And she takes the shot. But it was quite a slow effort and I don't think it was on target but Emery picks it up nonetheless. Thompson on the ball now, looking for Naomi. I apologise, that was Annika Corey, not Thompson. Now it's Alice Thompson with a good first touch to beat Hallie Callow. They get the ball back inside, trying to slip it in behind for Luchtmeyer, but Cooper did well. Now Middleton finds Edwards. Good pass across to Najima. Now Etherington. Back to Deki Murray here. Now Etherington going to take, going to take on Jasmine Melly. But the Bulls have it back, and it's Rose driving forward. Ball over the top to Naomi. Flag stayed down. Well timed run there by Danielle Naomi. Gets around Nisbet, but the cross couldn't get through hooks. And here comes two more substitutions for the Bulls Academy. Annika Corey and Patria Phillips leaving the field and coming on to replace them. Will be number nine, Arjun Surjan, and number 11, Ruby Davies. So with just over 10 minutes of regulation to go, the Bulls Academy have not very long to get themselves back into things. They'll need two goals to make it a draw and take away one point, and three goals if they're looking to get the win here today. Which, as time ticks down, that seems less and less likely. Sajan with her first touch. Khalil heads it on to look to Maya. But they can't keep it, the Bulls, and instead it's Layla Etherington on the ball now. Who goes back to Dekimura. Good piece of play there. 
Well done. Will that stay in for Chloe Middleton's run? No, it did not, according to the linesman. A good patch of play down the right-hand side for the Illawarra Stingrays. Club who are having a really strong start to their 2024 campaign. They've got a long history in the MPL women's competition. Lots of big names that have played for the club before, including Mary Fowler, Michelle Heyman, and Caitlin Ford have all donned the pink of the Illawarra Stingrays. Also former Matilda Caitlin Cooper, who's out there today having a strong game at centre back for the Illawarra Stingrays. So proud club and they're doing well today as they have done so far this season. Coach Steve Gordon for the sting race, telling Ella Giles to finish up her warm up so she can get on the field. Thompson with the throw towards Look Meyer. But now at the throw for the Stingrays. Goes to Diskiatskio, but she kicks it out. And it'll be another Stingray throw. Thompson on the ball to Naomi. Found their way out of a tight space there. So Joan looking forward for Luktmeyer, but it's a bit too heavy. And Emery has it instead for the Stingrays. Skietska does well. Now Khalil to Naomi. Now to Luktmaya. But Hooks was there. It didn't let Luktmaya turn and advance. Here comes Illawarra Stingrays. I believe that's their final substitution of the game. I think they've used all three of their substitution windows. And it'll be number 18, Molly Lawless, heading off. And number 33, Ella Giles, coming on to replace her in the midfield. Deki Mura clears it out of the box. Only as far as Etherington, though, who gives it a bit of a better effort. Siobhan Edwards. Dishkiatsuko stepped in at just the right time to make the tackle. Edwards on the ball again. Good strength there by Maya Khalil. Advantage for the Bulls after Siobhan Edwards had hold of her jersey in the challenge. Now Sousa on the ball. Sousa cuts around Giles. Pass it out wide to Naomi. Whose cross is stopped by Genevieve Nisbet there. And instead, Danielle Naomi will have a corner. Not long to go here at Northbridge Oval. If the Bulls have any chance of getting back in this game, it'll need to come soon. Cross comes in. Looks Maya Middleton challenging for the ball. Middleton comes out with it, though. Well defended there by the Stingrays. Free kick given there for sliding challenge by Maya Khalil. Didn't get the ball in that on that instance. And Poppy Hook sends it forward towards Etherington. Good ball. It'll stay in for Etherington. Good strike into the bottom corner. Great way to seal the deal for the Illawarra Stingrays here. Now up 3-0 over the Bulls Academy. It's a lovely ball. Free kick taken quickly in behind the Bulls Academy defence by Poppy Hooks. And a great run by Layla, e Layla Etherington. 
And that first time finish, bouncing ball, steers it into the bottom corner past Trudy Simmons. Lovely finish there. Bulls are still going hard, looking for any consolation they can, any positives to take out of this game. Bulls Academy have scored a goal in every game so far this season, so if they can be held to nil here, it'll be a first for their 2024 campaign. It shows the strength of the Stingrays defensive setup tonight. Even in their losses and draws, the Bulls managed to get on the sh score sheets. They'll be disappointed by this attacking effort. They are without key forward Isabella Coco de Scipio tonight. But still, they'd be disappointed not getting one in the back of the net. As I mentioned earlier, there's few injury troubles amongst the Bulls squad. Notable exclusions from today's match include Isabella Coco de Scipio, Jessica Seaman and Isabella Volkanovski who are all out. Balls back with Melly for the Bulls. Now it's made its way back to Caitlin Cooper of the Stingrays. Stingrays don't mind, just staying calm with it. Waiting for the right opportunity to head forward. Which they found now is Sakura Najima. Plays a great ball in behind. Sort of just in between Etherington and Siobhan Edwards. A little bit awkward for them, really. And now Sajan. Plays it back to Melly. Good reverse pass there to Khalil. And she gets the ball forward towards Danielle Naimi. Tries to pinch it off Nisbet, who had the ball. Can't do so. Naimi appears to have hurt herself in that challenge on Nisbet, though. She's limping. Perhaps an ankle or something, based on the way she's limping. But hopefully it's nothing major for Danielle Naimi. Ball in behind. Hallie Callow will get there in time to keep it in and win a corner by sending the cross looks like into the some sort of body part off Alice Thompson. First I thought it was the head, but based on the pretty limited reaction, it may have been the back because it was hit with some force. I'd imagine if that hit her head, she'd be in a little bit more pain, perhaps Stephen dazed and confused. Corners coming in. Diskiatskio gets there, but Stingrays have it back. on the ball now, Ella Giles with it. Out to Dekimura. Now with Caitlin Cooper. 
Poppy Hooks. I imagine it's just 30 seconds to go before the 90s up that they are quite content to just keep the ball, stay calm with it. A bit of a scare there. Tamira Souza almost won it back for the Bulls. They try a long range effort, but Tamira Souza, I apologize, Trudy Simmons in goals with the ball. My, the wrong Bulls player with the TS initials. Jasmine Melly tries to get around Najima. And now Middleton's got herself on the ball in the middle of the field. Bit scrappy there. Both teams sort of holding on to it for a second or two before the getting dispossessed. And as you can see now on the scoreboard here, the 90 is up at Northbridge Oval and there weren't any injuries this half, so I can't imagine we'll be playing on for too much longer. My Khalil sends it forward towards Alyssa Rose. Now Sajan. Good ball forward to Look to my art. Look to my with speed. Well done by Sophie Emery coming out and making the save. Dekimura on the ball, sends it forward towards Chloe Middleton, making a good run down the right hand side. And she puts enough pressure on Jasmine Melly, forcing her to kick it out. The Stingrays will have the ball down here, throwing in quite an attacking position for the Stingrays. But with the game winding down, they're not in such a rush to take it. Already up 3-0 here, the Illawarra Stingrays. Goal kick, the linesman awards the Bulls here. Can't be long to go now. Coaches, especially from the Illawarra sideline, just encouraging their girls to finish out the game. Ball in behind here for look to Maya. Her speed on full display. She gets around Deki Mura. Tries to get through Caitlin Cooper, but Cooper makes a good tackle. And wins the throw-in as well. So well done there by Caitlin Cooper. Bulls have it back now. Strong challenge there between Middleton and Khalil. Khalil winning the ball back, taking a shot that was well away from the goal, going out not just left of the post, but left of the six yard box even. And there is full time here at Northbridge Oval. Travelling Illawarra Stingrays take away the three points after a three-goal win over the Bulls Academy here. Final score from Northbridge, 3-0 Illawarra Stingrays over Bulls Academy. So thank you very much for tuning in on the Football New South Wales YouTube page. We were the first of the afternoon first grade games here at Northbridge, so feel free to log out of this one and tune into one of the several other games currently playing in the final 20 minutes now they would be. So probably very exciting affairs. Thank you. I'm Annabelle Banfield. Appreciate you tuning in here for this matchup. And glad it was a very exciting affair between the Illawarra Stingrays and Bulls Academy. Final score here once again, Illawarra Stingrays 3, Bulls Academy nil.